there's over 97,000 people placed in the building. So we've been called a city within a city. A lot of them are full body entombments. We also have cremations in niches and urns. We are in Selwood. The mausoleum takes up three and a half blocks of space here. We do tours monthly. Um, you can schedule with the office if you'd like to schedule to do a tour. So I usually start in the chapel. That building has been here since 1901 and we have been cremating people in there ever since. Once you enter the chapel, there is a beautiful stained glass ceiling done by the Povey brothers. All of these niches are crystal fronted niches, beveled crystal, and then the vases themselves are Tiffany vases. These would be some of the oldest spaces, yes. The mausoleum, main mausoleum, began built in the 20s and then was built upon until the 80s. So as we go through the building, you'll notice that there's no two sections that are the same. Nine miles of corridors, you can get lost out here. So if you took as many people that are here and you laid them out in a cemetery, it would take up miles. And so that was kind of the thought of building up instead of out. The Ray Room is only open once a year during Memorial Day weekend by request of the family. It is a private family estate that was built by Elizabeth Ray. Solid marble walls, hand carved ceilings, just all the little details are just so beautiful. We do several interments weekly. Normally, if it, unless it's Memorial Day weekend, you can't come in the building unless you're a family or a friend of loved ones that are placed here. You know, it is a sacred resting place for thousands and thousands of people. And so we do want to keep it peaceful and quiet. Awe and wonder and wow, we didn't know this was here. That's one of the main things I hear.